Yes. Do you have any questions? Do you want to tell us about your regalia? And then we can um, end the video by just talking formally among ourselves. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Okay, so um, my regalia, as you can see, make a little circle, make a little circle. Okay, so my regalia is basically uh, everybody from where they came from, that's what the regalia is made out of, right? And meaning by saying that, it's we're wearing our ancestors. And the reason why I say we're wearing our ancestors is because anything that we did, anything that we ate, killed, whatever you want to call it, you know, we used to you know, tell them and give them some tobacco and tell them, if you give up of yourselves for me and my family, when I die, I'll give up of myself for you and your family. And by saying that, you know, when we die, grass grows up, you know, and when that happens, the deers can eat, all the animals can eat, so we're giving ourselves of them, and it's a cycle, it's a circle, it's a circle of life. And like, you know, we became everything. And when we became everything, we became, you know, the trees, we became part of the earth, we became everything around that. So, you know, that's connecting us with like the tuli. The tuli are the, the willow that's on our grass skirt. And also the hat. The hat is made out of tuli too. And that's connecting us with the animals like the rabbit and when the boys have their bear skins, you know, that's us asking them for that. And that's how come we have this, our fur to keep us warm too. And originally, we didn't used to wear a dress. Back in the days, we used to all just wear shells, the women, shells around their neck and our otter or our rabbit skin fur. And then we just had this bottom and no shoes, of course, but I don't want to show you guys my feet. So that's why I have my moccasins on. And another thing that we have is the deer skin in the back. The deer skin is representing all the four-legged creatures. And the, all the four-legged creatures, you know, go pretty around, like, you know, pretty good range of animals you could think of. And that's what it represents, basically. And on our regalia, we mostly have abalone, which is, here, I'll show you a big one, abalone. And we have aloe vera shells. And these two things were very, very, very important to our people because we were coastal people and we were by the beach. And, it, and I really didn't believe it. I really didn't until I saw myself that these actual shells go on the beach. And like, you know, you just see the little regular ones you pick up at the beach. Well, you actually see these shells at the beach and I see them inside of the mountains like you can go and you see them in the mountains and everything and it's cool because we can go get them but it's sad sometimes when we go they say you're not supposed to be picking those those are live creatures in there don't be picking them so it's like what what, what are you saying that for you know and it's like we have to prove to them that we have a paper that we're alone and we're native and we could do it and then they say oh okay well you know what you're talking about you know what you're doing so go ahead you could pick them. So, you know, we still do that today. And I believed it since then, since I went to go actually get all these shells and stuff from the beach. Well, now I believe, like, that's what makes you you with doing your regalia, too. And another thing that's on our regalia is a lot of white and black beads everywhere, white and black everywhere. And another reason why we have white and black everywhere is because those are two of our medicine colors. And usually we have it on our face too, but I didn't want to get all ceremonial because it's on camera. But, um, you know, that's part of our culture in it too. And white and black are two very spiritual colors also. And white, we always end on white on everything because the white protects the black. And those are very, you know, like energy and stuff like that. That's what's in those colors because they're so powerful. And another color that we have, everyone always has this question is, what's that red ribbon for? They always want to know what that's for. And then I say, well, the first thing they say is, why is it red? And I said, well, it's red because... We are red people. We're from the red nation. Altogether, us natives, we're red. 
And the reason why, when you see us dancing, we're moving the ribbon back and forth, back and forth. And we're going in a side circle but and making a whole circle when we're dancing. And the reason why that we do that and we're keeping the ribbon in place is because it keeps us in balance. Because when we're dancing, the women are on the outside and the men are in the inside. And when we're coming in in a line, we're coming in counterclockwise. And when we're coming in counterclockwise, my grandpa, he puts the shell in the center and we're setting up the center of the universe in the center. And then we walk out and we call in. The first song we sing is our welcoming song, and we're introducing and calling in our ancestors to come in and join us to dance with us. And when that happens, that's when the men are in the inside and the women are on the out. And we're always on the outside because we're protecting everybody. We're protecting the people that we gave birth to, and that's why we're so special. Because people, you know, they they don't, they mistreat us sometimes, or something like that, or, or they belittle us, you know, and we do so much. We give life. That's like the most powerful thing a woman can do, is give life. And so, that's why they show us and they give us that dance too when we're in there. And then, you know, we're also Humaya singers and dancers. So that's another song. And we do an ocean water song too. And that's calling off to our uh, 12th generation great grandpa. And his name was Shania. And he was actually born in mission, inside of a mission, and was baptized by a very, very high priest, Father Sarah. So he did that, and um, another thing with us dancing is, with, with the regalia, I should say, is the hat is the most important thing that they ask about, too. And people always look at me, hey, you're the only one with a different hat. Why, why do you wear that hat? And, and I say, well, it's, it's not different. It's the same as everyone else's. And then they say, well, more particular, why do you have blue all over your hat? because everyone has different, they have colorful, like they have hawk feathers, they have some eagle feathers, they have a duck, you know, they have all kinds of stuff. So I say, well, one day I was at Indian Canyon, you know, I was at a place that we go, and we go dance at, and when I was there, I was sitting down at our, my campsite, and when I was sitting down at my campsite, I was like, man, I don't know what to put on my hat. I just had pheasant all over, and I was like, man, I don't know what to put on there. And I was praying a little bit. I was like, come on, man, help me, help me out here. Show me what I need to put on my hat. And all of a sudden, you hear all these birds. You hear them all, and they're irritating. You're like, man, I'm trying to pray. What are you doing? And I'm over here, and I'm all looking at them, and they're blue jays screeching at each other and I'm like man what are they doing they're over there talking at each other are they trying to talk to me are they just being loud like me because I'm a loud person you know what are they doing and then all of a sudden one let off a blue jay feather that flew away and I was like and it like came down and I was looking at it and it fell down right by me and I go hey that's a perfect thing to put on my hat and ever since then I've put nothing but blue jay feathers on my hat and every single blue jay feather that's on my hat is from Indian Canyon. So I thought that was so cool. Even my cousin that gave me the wing, she gave it, you know, she got it from there. And I was just like, that's so cool and everything. So the hat too, it it has its own story. Everyone has its own story. The way that they they make it, the way that they put love into it. You always want to make sure when you're with your regalia too, when you have it on, you're very respectful. You don't want to say the wrong thing. You don't want to cuss in it, you know, and you don't want to be on your menstrual cycle. You know, that's something you don't do. And you don't want to put nothing negative in it. And that's another thing going into the aloe vera shells that are on the hat. The reason why I don't have it all the way low like I usually have it, it's not covered on my eyes all the way, but usually I have it a little bit lower and it's when we're dancing and the aloe vera shells, they're part of our medicine too. And when we have them facing down on our eyes, it's because it's for protection when we're dancing. We don't want nothing, no negative energy coming in through our eyes. And that's why we wear necklaces too. People say, why do you wear necklaces? Well, we wear them, we don't want nothing to go in here. 
and we don't want nothing to go in the eyes. And when we have our medicine on, we have it like this too because we don't want nothing to go through that way. So that's why we have all those protections on us. And I, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll, I'll just show it to you guys. But I'll, pa I'll, go, I'll go this way, and then I'll go all the way around. And the center is a circle. And then it has the four directions. And then I have shells. And then the one in the middle is the creator. So you see the circle and the four directions and the creator eye. No one ever sees that. I guess because I always have it on. I never take it off when I'm dancing. So no one ever sees it. So you guys are like the first ones to see the inside, like, you know, the top of my hat. <laughs> and everyone always says that. Like, I know my brother and my mom's seen it. They're like, oh, look, it even has a little eye because it has a little hole in it. So everyone's looking at it. And everyone doesn't know that, that it's there, but it's there. And, you know, it's just how you, how you want to put medicine inside of your, your stuff, you know. And when you're making your regalia, you guys have to be very happy. Don't put nothing negative in it. Because when you're dancing, you don't want to be all mad. You don't want to, like, you know put none of that negative energy, even if you touch somebody else in your regalia and you have something negative, you don't want that to go to them, you know, you don't wish nothing bad upon anybody else, and so basically that's the regalia, I think I said everything, really. So we actually need to end, because we are on a time limit for YouTube, but we can have a conversation off camera now. Um, Thank you so much for coming and really explaining to us with such clarity and love um, what you're wearing and where you're from. And, um, and I'm really glad that you got to do it with this audience. And thanks again to your relatives for being here with us as well. Okay, so uh, bye YouTube and we'll continue off, off the camera.